Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Jason Sanis Van Heisen. That's right. Jason has headed up the project for the Frazee Community Thrift Store. So how's it going, Jason? It's going real, real Third well. Third month. Yep, we started uh, December 9th was our first day. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, it's been um, going really well. We usually, in December, we averaged about, you know, $100 or so a day. And then it slowed down a little bit in January for, for the income. But, uh, but as for donations and volunteers, um, it's been really, really good. Now, how many volunteers do you have now that are helping? Yeah, right now we're, we've had about a little over 30 volunteers, and uh, which at the same time, you know, those volunteers help here and there, you know. However, you know, that's, that's a huge need that we, you know, as all, you know, places that need volunteers, we need more volunteers as well. And we've kind of um, talked to some of the churches and other areas um, asking for volunteers. But if there are people out there that would like to volunteer, we definitely are in need of that. And if they want to volunteer, how do they get a hold of you, Jason? Good question. Uh, they can either call me directly, which is 334-5092, or the store here has a phone as well, which is 334-2120. And uh, any hours, we're pretty much open to volunteers. Uh, our hours are Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 5, and then Saturdays 10 to 2. So, well, you got a pretty good coverage then. Yeah, it's, it's been good. So. And... Uh, I look through here, you know, and I find all kinds of stuff. Now, I myself, I've always been infatuated with how many different kinds of designs of tins can they make for different <laughs> things. And we run across these sit here, and here's a, a very lovely. That's a nice one. Yep. With flowers on it. Uh, just about an oriental design, but it has, uh, I believe, roses. Yeah. And it's. 50 cents. 50 cents. And this must be an Easter, uh, okay, that's a little hinge there too, mm -hmm. it looks. Oh, that's pretty fancy, yeah. Yeah. And all, see, all pressed metal. Usually, uh, Terry Myasek is, is the one who's really been putting a lot of work in this as well. She's the um, store manager, I guess we call her, and she puts out these displays. Like, this is the Easter display. Mm -hmm. um, we have some Easter stuff out there. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, she had that out there. We have, so, uh, we have bunnies and bunnies. Yep. And we even got a, a little Easter lamb here. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of goodies there and stuff. Uh, we have some Easter dresses there she's put out for a dollar a piece and um, a lot of different things. Now, what brought this about, having the store? Yeah, that's a good question. I think uh, originally, you know, there was a lot of talk. I had a lot of different people come to me and say, oh, we need a thrift store, you know, we need a thrift store. But at the same time, I knew if we were going to do this, it was going to take a, a really a community effort. And we thought about doing it as a smaller group, like just a church. But uh, you know, I knew there was going to be problems if we were going to do just volunteer, just getting enough people to help. And that's still been a challenge, like I say, mm -hmm. with the volunteers. But uh, after having enough people talk to me about it, you know, I said, boy, maybe God's want me to do something here. And so I go ahead and held a community meeting, and, and a bunch of people showed up. And, and I was ready to drop it if they wouldn't want to. But people said, yep, let's go ahead with this. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we went ahead and, and started going, and one thing led to another, and uh, here we are. So Well, and I know you don't have a, have a lot of space here, but I am amazed at how many different things you have in here. Yeah, so I are mean, we. Uh, there's, there, there's coffee makers here, folks. There's, there's kitchen utensils. There's plates. There's glasses. All kinds of clothing, toys, luggage, shoes. A lot of stuff. And uh, yeah. uh, we have pictures and, and knickknacks that you would be interested in having around your house. Now, I know the last time I was here, I found a very interesting little print. And, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's some of those things that you just don't find any place else but you right. can find at a thrift store. Yeah. There's always new treasures, and you never know what you're going to find, and it really does change daily. I mean. People in this community have been incredibly generous with their donations, giving high-quality donations, um, really help and support. It's great to have a clothing store mm -hmm. in Frazee now. I mean, you basically can get anything you need right here in Frazee. And we appreciate those who are shopping Frazee first and taking a look here or at the other stores mm -hmm. in town and uh, just seeing what Frazee has available because there's a lot here. The only thing I noticed that you didn't have a lot of stuff in fat 
fat, short, uh, graying gentleman size. It's probably back there. It's probably back there. Uh, it's, it's, it does have a look for it. Well, we, that's, we need more people to kind of organize. It's there somewhere. Uh, I'm sure it is. And if not, we probably have it in the back. So. Now, uh, do you have the students involved here at all yet? Yep. Actually, some of our volunteers are, uh, we have a few teenagers, and, and so that's, um, we do do that. But uh, And are, they're learning the marketing business then. Yeah. Well, the they business. come over here and jump right in. They're able to run a cash register till, you know, gain experience mm -hmm. so they can put that down on their resume and say, hey, here's what I've done. And so we even have Martin Thorpe's on our, our board actually as well. Good. So yeah, as representing the students mm -hmm. in the school and uh, and so that's been good. That that uh, that keeps him out of grandpa's hair. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it, I, I like to see things like this because as I told Jason earlier, and I'll tell you people out there too, every once in a while you'll see me wearing Hawaiian shirts on this program. And all but one of my Hawaiian shirts have came from some type of a second-hand store. Because you just don't find Hawaiian shirts all the time sometimes when you need them, but you can find them at the thrift store or costume material. Yeah, so, definitely. But give us your... Hours again, Jason? Right. Hours are Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 5, and then Saturdays 10 to 2. Volunteers, please contact me, 334-5092. We're in high need of volunteers just to staff the store and just keep keep the doors open. So, And again, thank you to all those who've contributed. Um, like Salvation Army says, they give, shop, and heal. People give donations, they shop here, and then we take that money and all the money goes back to the community. And so... And that's a great thing. Plus, you're right next to the Link Library. Yep, that's so right. So we'll catch you on the next segment of Spotlight on Frazee here in just a minute. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I just wanted to remind everybody out in TV3 land that the Frazee Area Community Club is having their $52 dinner April 4th. Social hour will be at 5.30. Now this is an appreciation dinner for all the people that have bought tickets. And everybody who's bought a ticket is uh, welcome to bring a partner also for the dinner. There'll be the social starting at 5.30 and the dinner following. Now the Frazee Area Community Club is one of the major service organizations for Frazee Area, along with the Lions, the uh, Knights of Columbus, the Frazee Sportsman's Club, and some of the other service organizations. One of the big things that the Frazee Community Club is involved in is the Frazee Turkey Days. And uh, some of the members uh, are involved in the Miss Frazee pageant. Now, uh, along with the Lions and the other service organizations, these are what make these festivals go. Also, we do uh, Oktoberfest, where we get close to 300 people coming to enjoy German food and dance the day away at Polka. Then we do Festival of Trees in November. This is usually a two week long event that is a host to all kinds of other sub-organizations. The Red Hat Ladies come, we, we see uh, 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 our, our wine tasting festival, uh, and we also uh, are involved in many major projects around the community. So any of you that are 52 ticket holders, be sure to come for April 4th at 5.30 at the Frazee Area Event Center. So uh, I will be back next week with Spotlight on Frazee.